And after two days, again in the night, the sweating started, heavy sweating. And I, I thought, shameful, what is happening with me? <laughs> After two days, I was shifted from Devanali to Indranagar for this uh, glucose for the, when I hit low BP. It came uh, normal and I was talking to a lot of people who came. And after two days, again in the night, the sweating started, heavy sweating. And I, I thought, shameful, what is happening with me? <laughs> I jumped out of my room in Indranagar and I looked outside in the big hall. The um, door, the glass door leading to the kitchen was closed. It reached to around 120 feet behind. Yeah, I opened the door. Again, I looked at the main entrance door. The glass door to the entrance door was again closed. I opened it up. Wow, it leads to the main road. Wow, a lot of wind coming from that side, coming from this side. I went to the conference room, to the principal's room, I checked the windows, I opened the windows, sweat stopped immediately. <laughs> so water is very important and fresh air. So leave the place, jump outside for fresh air and I think we saved her. And the very first day when the BB was 52 by 62, we were, we were forced, they were forced to take me to the nearest to Manipal hospital, which is 15 kilometers from the ashram. And the doctor said to stabilize your oh, BP, you have to be admitted in the ICU. I said, no, ICU, no ICU. Then what I can say even for three days or even one week and all. He said, no, not possible. I said, then discharge me against doctor's advice. <laughs> and I jumped out of the hospital. Then doctor said, on the way, you have to get admitted in some hospital. And within two hours, uh, heart attack you can, uh, can be triggered. And you'll be in trouble. I said, leave it, damn it. I went and took one bottle of <laughs> IV fluid. It was stabilized. Guts and knowing yourself is very, very important. <laughs>